Good evening, sheeple! Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be playing through a little bit of Catherine for you. The reason I'm doing this is because it seems that current-gen video games seem to be pretty popular with people checking out the channel, and I always thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to play a game as soon as it comes out. I literally just got back from the game store. Unfortunately, I couldn't start yesterday because I live in the ass end of Canada, so stuff has like a one-day shipment delay a lot of the time. So hopefully nobody beat me to this by LPing the whole thing yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, that's how that goes. Seemed like it'd be a good idea. I have no idea what I'm in store for, so I'm going to be just making choices the way I see it and stuff like that. So could be quite disastrous. But that is where the fun comes from, is it not? Why, yes, I do believe it is. Although, I do have to point out that I'm sure there's a lot of irony in the fact that I'm playing a game about ridiculous and very complicated relationship issues, considering the complete clusterfuck that my personal life has been over the last couple of months. Dear fucking God, my personal life. But that's a story for another day. There is no saved data. Of course there is not. It is a clean copy of the game that I have done nothing short of installing so far. And yes, I am playing... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Uh, yes, I am playing the English version. There's no undub. I'm not going to attempt to translate the Japanese version while I'm playing. I got into enough trouble trying to do that with the demo. Fuck that. I am just going with the English version. I'm just going to set this up here. Take on the trial. Once you're adept, the game... So, we have three modes here, basically. Um, the Babel mode, as I understand it, is this uh, sort of trial mode, like a really difficult puzzle mode. But I'm going to jump into the story mode. I, sh I really hate the guy talking over this, because every time I start to open my mouth, he starts blabbing up. I should let him finish first, but whatever. Alright, enough delay. Start the story from the beginning. That sounds like what we're doing! Alright, three difficulty levels. As you may recall, I played the demo on easy, and I had a hell of a hard time with that. However... I am one ballsy motherfucker. I'm starting off on normal. This mode is for experienced players. Is it okay to start? Shit. Should I really do that, though? Well, worst case scenario, I might have to restart on easy. Meh. All the world the stage, and all the men and women merely players. Oh, Shakespeare. Sky filled with glamour, a lovely story <laughs> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this skill area rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying niece. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, 
We begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewer. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. I believe that's just the game's way of telling us that there are multiple endings. Yes, there are in fact multiple endings. And a little bit of story variation. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of it! <laughs> Were you even listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. Okay, uh, this is an opening here. Uh, I suppose it's okay to talk over it. You can listen to this music if you grab the soundtrack or whatever. Um, you're probably noticing that I'm not talking a lot during the cutscenes. That's because I kind of want to enjoy the game and focus on what's happening. And I think the viewers are sort of okay with that. At most, I might uh, briefly pop up a little word or two if there seems to be like a break in the narration. But I'm not sure that me giving the cutscenes the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 deal is really going to be uh, what people would want from this. Ah, demo level, we meet again. Help me. Anyone out there? Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. Once again, Vincent must listen to the voices in his head. Tutorial voice guy, he has a soothing voice. Just climb these blocks. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? Press the cross button to grab the block. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use your hands, Vince. Yeah, expect me to be spamming select after a while. I'm pretty sure I had to do that to get to the uh, second level in the demo. Okay. Just some simple climbing exercises. I'm already familiar with this level. It's really just showing you how to go. Or, in this case, I believe it's three. I'm pretty sure normal mode gives you about three of these per pillow. If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. Yeah, I died a lot. I will need the extra lives. Get some 
edge there. Keep the combo going. It's just all about making stairs, really. Yes, Vincent, collapse. Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block to make some push. That's kind of been what I was doing, genius. I should probably be showing off the collapse mechanic. Ah, screw it. No, wait. That would be a bad idea. I almost fucked myself over. I was going to show how, off how if you push a certain number of blocks it'll collapse. Yeah, if you push uh, both blocks out from under a section it'll start to collapse down. I was going to show that off, but uh, then I realized, no, that would be stupid. That would get me stuck. In other words, fuck your physics, son. This is a dream world. The edges glow bluish white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. That's what that edge sound is. See, it flashes blue like that. That's telling you that it's connected at an edge. All right, I got it. As in, there is no block under this. See if the camera could go down that way. You can see clear through to the other side. Dude, you have horns growing out of your head. I think it's safe to say that gravity doesn't really give a fuck right now. She's buying a Stairway to Heaven. No, I'm not going to start singing Stairway to Heaven. And that's the door out of it. Right stick is camera, but the camera's largely fixed in place. I can't really seem to do... Okay, okay, there is a bit of movement with it. So I can kind of look ahead sometimes. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Those dark colored blocks, they're unmovable if I'm remembering right. Either that or they're really hard to move. Nothing to it, really. Get a little bonus there. I do not believe the points matter for anything. On a climb of the Hell yeah! Gold, gold prize. And it looks like our little narrator chick happens to be the model for the gold medal. Damn, that is one seriously badass afro right there. I mean, look at the fucking size of that shit. God damn, it's like bigger than her torso. That's so fucking awesome. Oh, and uh, by the way, the monster's hands, it has the same nail polish as uh, Catherine, K. Catherine. And uh, she's holding a fork, which is something Catherine was holding earlier. Oh, 
today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. this overtime you're doing oh uh not this time this time do you usually get overtime pay well no but so you don't get anything <sighs> Ooh, uh. here two sugars hey Catherine, have you ever had a dream where you died you mean like where you're in danger no no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but. I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. In other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Oh, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Yeah, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey. I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. And what if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. For what? Sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? That Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It was a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Hate the news. They always try to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. 
Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Whoa. Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. But I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you there? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Okay, I'm sure you all remember this. Looks like there's a few extra options though. Okay, I guess we have to progress further before that happens. Got the diary. Alright, so that's obviously our save situation. Let's make a little save, right, for ourselves. Uh, yeah, what I was going to say, uh, obviously a very dialogue-heavy game. So, I'm going to... What the... Okay, looks like we do have an award. Underground Cemetery Normal. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we can check out our scores with our cell phone. And we can even go back and replay the levels, try to get better scores. Won't be doing any of that on camera, of course. Check our inbox. Spend time with stray sheep. You will receive text messages on your phone. You can even reply to some of these messages. Depending on how you replied, Vincent's feelings and those of the person you writing to may change. Continued. When you press the confer button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel button to erase the last line or press the yeah, it's just explaining how we respond to messages. Okay. Place fantastic views. Congratulations, views are successfully completed stage one, the underground cemetery. And it's just explaining the awards stuff. And it looks like we unlocked an area in Babel. Clearly named for the Tower of Babel. Okay, like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. Surprising, most of them are already married, and almost all, half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. So, obviously, with this and the cutscenes... It's quite clear that Catherine, or K. Catherine, <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a good way of uh, differentiating between the two of them. She's very much pushing for marriage, kind of the, we're getting old, we need to settle down and stuff, right? That's her whole deal. But Vincent's all like, come on, we're still young, and that's not what I want right now. So they're... 
bickering back and forth. She's trying to, like, guilt trip him from the looks of this message. And he's all like, but I don't want to send her a nice little reply. Does it bother you? Mm, uh, you're overthinking it. Sorry, can't think right now. Uh, you're overthinking it. We're okay as we are. You don't need to be tied down. I think we're okay as we are. Quite direct, honest, and very much what seems to be going through Vincent's mind. We don't need to rush into this. It'll just stress you out more. I'm pretty tired right now. Let's just not rush into it, okay? He still seems to very much have feelings for her and uh, stuff. It's just that he doesn't want to make a commitment. So that's sort of my mindset behind what the messages are. Let's catch a movie sometime. See ya. Later. Uh, let's go with the one that seems less abrupt. Unless there's a third one. No, there's just, there's just two. Let's send this message. And it looks like our meter shifted a little bit into the red. And... Okay, that's just a quick way to get into the awards menu. Nothing else we can respond to right now. So let's just put away our phone. Looks like there's blue and red. Mm. No idea what that means. I guess it could be one for each of the different women. Maybe it goes like order versus chaos or good versus evil. It's kind of hard to tell. I guess, suppose we'll see as it progresses. You know, this clock makes it look like days or even weeks are passing, but it's just a couple hours. Manliest looking bartender ever. He can serve me drinks any day. And we got a nice little closing shot of Vincent drowning his sorrows. This time with the drinking buddy. Ah, it's you. What are you waiting for? And this would appear to be our old map. Looks like we graduate climb up this. And we are now in the prison of despair. Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? The hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then I can't remember. What is going on? I think you just had a little bit too much to drink, bro. 
Oh, hey, narrator guy's still alive. I figured he was Paul. Wow, that was quick. I heard there was uh, a bit of variation on the block system, but I didn't think they would uh, introduce a new type right away like this. I figured they'd at least give you a level or two with really normal blocks before fucking with you. It's cool. I can dig it. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Haven't we all been there, though? Like... We, whoa, shit. Uh, damn, how am I? Okay, yes. There we go. And... Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, looks like we have to yank this out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. That it is. Right, Up we it. go. Fudge. Ah, there we go. Makes sense. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. <laughs> Cheating the uh, tutorial text. Let's go about it. <laughs> Haven't we all gone out for a night on the town, only to wake up as a sheep person without our clothes? I mean, I can't be the only one, right? Shit, how am I supposed to... Uh, probably not the best way to do this, really, but... Oh, shit. There we go. Really? Okay, that's something I didn't know. Damn, Dream Vincent is fucking buff. Those blocks got away like a ton. When you touch a checkpoint, you will start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. And as the demo play tells me, that is what a checkpoint looks like. Push that whole block. You know, everyone, the people, oh. The hell? Uh, uh-huh. Hey, not so bad, not so, sh not so shabby, I think. And we get a bonus depending on how many blocks are left standing when we get to the top. More gold, hell yeah. Wow, the demo must have been a lot harder than the main game. Or maybe I've just gotten a lot better. I'm gonna go with it's easier. Everybody here is a sheep, but... Who are 
crazy. Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. Church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. Keep saying it. Those who can die first. Quit with all this dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no, wait. You hurry, too. Hey! Would you stay? Save your progress and talk to the other two. Go on, talk to them. Yeah, I love talking to sheep. I talk to sheep all the time. So, judging from what that uh, guy said, everybody sees everybody else as sheep, but they themselves look normal. So, that's why Vincent looks much like he does in the real world. Minus the horns, of course. But everybody else looks, well, like this. So they're all in the same boat. Okay, so that's what a mid-dream save point looks like. Gonna save just for the hell of it. And let's chat up some sheep. What's up there? The final boss, man! What do you think's up there? It's always the final boss. Fucking Persona 3. This ain't Sparta, bro. Okay, everybody only has one set of dialogue. I guess the whole, you see everybody else's sheep thing is uh, sort of this dream world's way of preventing teamwork. Every man for himself. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner at least saves you some pain, right? Oh, uh, that guy's clearly given up. Yeah, it is kind of like a church. Got a little carpet going through. We've got uh, this book here. Kind of like the uh, guest book at weddings, I guess. All the chairs look like pews. We've got the bell. We've got what appears to be a confessional at the end. <laughs> Freedom pointing up. Yep, I guess the only way out of this is to keep on climbing. Welcome to hell, buddy. Calm down. Shut up! Uh... <laughs> Let's be nice. Yep, looks to be good evil. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Well, we did the nice. I'll have to use that next time. Maybe this will be useful. You want me to teach you the technique I found? 
Yes, I do. So I've been doing the slider all this time without even knowing what it's called. <laughs> yeah, the slider is pretty much exactly what I've been doing so far. The pyramid does look useful though. I'm going to have to start using that if I start seeing huge stretches upwards. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Actually, I did. One of these sheep is a reporter in the real world. Maybe we end up being him at some point? I'll have to keep an eye out. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You'll all be dead soon. What? Be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine your life's work. So, I'll have you answer my question. What is this? Question one. Is marriage the point the life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. <laughs> Damn, Pharos is getting really, really pissed off lately. Which one? Uh, by the way, the uh, dialogue auto skips the text, so it's not like I can stop the dialogue and uh, say something. It actually just skips ahead on its own. Begins, it ends. Personally, uh, I've always thought marriage to be sort of a good thing. I guess I can't say I really uh, support the institution. Marriage has become a bit of a joke as of late, but hey, I can't say I'm completely down on it. I don't know. Oh, so that's your choice. That's surprising. And who are you? Are you doing all this? No. I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else brought you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here, and wanted you to die. And some of it you know. <sighs> if you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. Why do I feel like Catherine with a K is the chick who dropped me here? Other players answered. <laughs> Most of them chose It Begins. Uh, I think Vincent himself, I thought about it a bit later. I don't necessarily know what he would choose. He doesn't seem to be completely hating marriage, and it's possibly something he might be interested in someday. It's just not a, let's do it right now, so, hmm, he probably would say it ends. 
I don't know. I'm confused. In retrospect, I probably should have chosen the other option. It does sound a bit like this. Hmm. Yes, yes we are. Yeah, I actually am. Looks <laughs> like somebody fell off. <laughs> He means that, like, glowing cube thing right there, which, if my memory from the demo is correct, that allows you to create a block. I never used it, even though it would have made the final area a lot easier. You can pick up items by touching them. Remember, you can only hold one at a time. Press the square button to use it. You probably can't hold many, but you should hang on to one, just in case. Just in case. Edge, climb up. Oh. Hold on, how do I? Well, I'm going to force him to do it. I was trying to grab on... What I was trying to do was I was trying to grab onto the edge and shimmy across, but every time I tried to make him do that, he just uh, jumped down to the lower block. So I had to go to the next one. I don't know. I don't think they really explained the controls properly or something. Maybe I just didn't notice it. If we get a hundred, do we get an extra life? Your score is measured in Enigma coins. Ooh, Enigma coins. Fancy. As you climb up each new step, more coins will be added to your score. Oh, uh, the tutorial text is not auto skip, so <laughs> yeah, I do have time to do whatever. Use these coins to purchase items on the landing between. Ah, okay. So you actually do use the points and money for stuff. So, in other words, the faster you climb, the easier the game gets. So, this is one of those games where it gets easier if you're better at it. <laughs> that always seemed kind of unfair. You think the people who suck at the game are the ones who need the help. But I ain't gonna question it. Yes, I realize I already did question it. Shut up, you smart ass. All right, I got it. Hey, sheep, bro. All right. <laughs> Whoops. I swear, I wasn't trying to push him off. It just kind of happened. Try to shove me off, you dick. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. You mean the other guys from only with me? They're in my way. They're all trying to climb, like you. This is a dog eat dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep 
Wouldn't it actually be a sheep eats sheep world? Okay, what's the shove button? Is there a shove button? There's no shove button, is there? Why is the checkpoint near the top? Ah, yes. Heavy block. Heavy, heavy block. So heavy. So fucking heavy. Wait, why did I pull out that one? Whoa! Shit. Fuck. I am so screwed. Uh. Okay, that's the limit of my undoes. Ah, uh, no, wait. Do, do. Let's try it over here instead. Okay, that one won't move. Ah, uh, shit. Mm hmm. Let's get over here. Shit, how am I supposed to do this? Ah, oh, works for me. I see you're still alive and kicking. Hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. The map on the left side of your screen shows you how far you are from the goal. Stages vary in length, so be mindful of your progress. <laughs> My kingdom for a jump button. Uh, well, this is like literally the only way I can get up there. I'm gonna have to try something tricky for this shit. Move, move, move. Okay. Oh, God damn it. There's literally no way to do that. Where I am. I'm going to have to go back down and change positions. Fuck. I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be getting a high ranking on this one. Uh. Yup, I have officially hit a serious ass snag. Works for me. Okay. I am confused. Confused and slightly aroused. Uh, uh, I take it I can't climb across that. No, I cannot. Uh, wait. I have an idea. Not a good idea, mind you. But it is an idea.
Wait, no. That won't work. God damn it, why is the bottom so close to me? Get back down there, bottom. Oh god damn it, I'm an idiot. Why should I not see that? Why did nobody tell me about this? Okay, that that's obviously not going to work. Nor is that really going to work. Okay, that's obviously a stupid move on my part too. Oh god, why can't there be one more block over there? That would make this so much easier. Well, nice knowing you. <laughs> I am so fucking screwed. Okay, they wouldn't put something in this game if it was unsolvable. I know that. I know that. There's gotta be a trick to this that I'm not seeing. I just gotta figure that shit out. Just gotta figure that shit out. Wait. No. Wait, why did I push that block off? That would be a stupid move. Wait a fucking minute. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. I completely forgot I picked up that extra block. They even went out of their way to tell you, just in case you need it, it would probably be a good idea to take it. So... Duh. Uh, wait, that's totally not the right way to play it. That really was not the right place to put that. Uh, I am supposed to use it though. That's quite clear to me now. Yeah, I'm going to actually uh, prepare some topics and stuff for um, future... Mm hmm. Shit. I am fucking stupid as fuck. There's like a really simple explanation for all of this, and I am not seeing it because I'm a fucking moron. I hope everyone realizes that I am a fucking moron. Really, I really, really hope people realize I'm a fucking moron. Uh, it'd be really great if I could put one right there, because then I could just slide all of this over. But no, they can't let us have nice things like that. Can you, Atlas? Atlas, you are dicks. Goddamn, I keep doing the exact same thing over and over, and it's not going to work now. It didn't work before, it's not going to work. It's 
get back down to the bottom once more. No, wrong direction. Last time. That totally, my god, really, what, what the fuck am I doing? They wouldn't, would they? Well, I guess regardless of whether or not they would... Very true, Vince. Now really is not the time to be dead. Oh well, that checkpoint hopefully bought us a little bit of time. Nope. Yep. Oh wow. Oh wow, really. Oh fucking wow. So if that fucking thing didn't collapse on me... I would have gotten that no problem. Holy Christ, I am so fucking retarded. I... Dear God. Dear God. I have nothing more to say about this. Yeah, I got the compilation prize. Consolation prize. The prize you get for sucking hardcore. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? Mm -hmm. Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep, they're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. Nothing more I can teach you. It'll be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Uh, wait. I feel. While on Lamis, you can learn techniques to help you fly higher. I feel this is the start of something big. That's all I really wanted to say. But this jackass wouldn't let me do it. No, he has to explain how to play the game, because I totally need all the help. Because I fucked up so fucking hard on that last area. My god, I'm going to be kicking myself all fucking day. I know exactly how to do it now, I just fucked up so fucking hard. Kinda realized that after that last bit. Or on GameFAQs. GameFAQs too. They have all that shit. Okay. Looks like I have been recording for approximately an hour. <laughs> I don't want these videos to get uh, too long-winded. So I'm going to make a save here. Saving, saving. 
Very successful. All right, and uh, pause the game. Looks like we have a very basic pause menu. And I'm going to stop the recording. Then I'm going to pick things up here for the next video. See you in a bit.